considering that when it comes to showing up for the midterms, Democrats are electorally challenged? <laughs> what we need is a sweetener to rouse the liberal base, and I think pot would do the trick. Now, I could go on and on about the benefits of weed, increased focus, less anxiety, better sleep. It makes food taste better, music sound better. <laughs> bad dates more tolerable. <laughs> Good for migraines, glaucoma, and the nausea associated with reading Trump's tweets. <laughs> <laughs> and eating pot increases levels of the chemicals responsible for happiness. Oh, you're doing a heck of a job, Brownie. <laughs> Yes, we love weed the way Republicans love their guns. Every election Republicans run on, they're coming for your guns. We need to talk about weed that way and turn potheads into single-issue voters, too. <laughs> and it should not be that hard, because nobody's really coming for your guns. But Jeff Sessions really does want to take away your pot for which there is no protection like the Second Amendment. You know, we can bring those jobs back from China, but they're still gonna suck. <laughs> You're in an Amazon warehouse for eight hours with no one to talk to but the robots. You're gonna want that vape pen. <laughs> Democratic politicians can talk all they want about making college more affordable, but it's weed that makes it bearable. <laughs> This should be an especially potent issue for those younger voters, the ones we are so desperate to get to the polls in November. Now, those kids say they're coming out for gun control. Maybe. But being against guns is not a lifestyle. Guns is a lifestyle. Weed is a lifestyle. <laughs> it's not just something you have an opinion on. It's in your home. It's a passion. You like touching it. <laughs> Guns and pot, they have magazines about it, and so do we. <laughs> they have gun shops, we have dispensaries. <laughs> they know the difference between automatic and semi-automatic, we know the difference between indica and sativa. <laughs> they rally around musicians that support their cause, even if they're terrible, and so do we. <laughs> They have fancy ways to hide their stash. So do we. <laughs> they like to have a zillion versions of the same product. So do we. <laughs> Come on, there are gas mask bongs, lava lamp bongs, penis bongs, and the menorah bong for those who celebrate Kronika. <laughs> Look, I tend to think guys who need a 50 caliber rifle to, so they can shoot through Iron Man are crazy. But then I remember I once paid three grand for a device called the Mothership. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it heated hash oil to exactly 462 degrees and had a spherical donut chamber with detachable bubbler and dual wax ceramic coil <laughs> and a 72-hole percolator with matching shower head ash catcher. <laughs> Did it make getting high any better than using an apple? No. <laughs> So why did I drop three grand on it? Because I was high when I ordered it. <laughs> Happy 420!